gonna be a tasty show. Alrighty, so let's get started and I'm gonna take off my work boots. Alrighty, and then take off my hard hat, put on some high heels, and in a more appropriate chef's hat. Woo! And let's do some cooking. Okay, so um, this Thanksgiving I was thinking of maybe making a tofu turkey, but um, then I realized that I think it'd be a lot more fun if we made some tofu sausage. Woo! Okay, so what I like to use is um, fermented tofu or the sprouted tofu. So that pretty much means it's living. I mean, <laughs> the only live thing in this sausage is going to be my tofu. Okay, so we've got that. And then this is the key when you're using tofu is you want to make it feel and act like a good piece of meat. <laughs> All right, well then what you got to do is kind of um, chill it up first. All right, so we're going to take it out of the package, cut it up, and then we're going to put it between some plastic wrap. All right, and then we're going to put that into the freezer. And we can freeze that for, you know, anywhere from 24 hours to up to two months, okay? And then we're going to take it out of the freezer, thaw it out, and then we need to draw the moisture out of the tofu. So what we're going to do is put it between two towels, and then we're going to put something heavy on top, okay? And that's just going to draw the moisture out of the tofu. Okay, we're going to let that sit for a half an hour. All right, so now let's get everything else prepared for the sausage. You know, I have never actually done this before, so I'm kind of like a virgin with the sausage here, but um, I'm pretty confident that I can uh, put something together that I'm pretty darn satisfied with. All right, so here I've got my recipe, and what it says we're going to need, we're going to want a half a teaspoon of dried oregano, you want a half a teaspoon of sage, an eighth teaspoon of nutmeg, an eighth teaspoon of cinnamon, an eighth teaspoon of cloves, and an eighth teaspoon of black pepper. And we're going to want to mince two cloves of garlic. And then we're going to want two tablespoons of fresh parsley, one third cup scallions. So next what we need is um, one third cup dry red wine. Okay, let's do that. We're going to put it in a bowl here. And then we're going to want one third cup soy sauce. Ooh, and you're going to want two teaspoons molasses and a little olive oil. Okay, woo, perfect. And now let's crumble in the tofu. Okay, make sure your hands are washed. Perfect, now let's mix it up. It looks just like ground meat. <laughs> it's kind of lovely, but um, I think I messed up. Because <laughs> this doesn't want to hold together in um, like a sausage, so. I really wanted some sausage. A nice big thick fat sausage. <sighs> I can see it so I knew I could make it. All right, um, gotta have a binder. All right, so I'm thinking what would be a binder here and I'm not gonna use an animal intestine. All right, so um, let's either I make like a lasagna or something with this or um, <laughs> I want a sausage. Okay, so um, let's think. We gotta do. I gotta make this stick together. We could use flax meal. It doesn't quite. I'm thinking. Well, how about if I would just? <laughs> Got it. Okay. You know what? I think that um, maybe if I put in like a little brown rice or something like that, that would um help it stick together and then I think I already I just happen to have some here in the fridge okay let me just get okay here we go Woo! that was about two cups okay so one cup per um, pound of tofu I'm thinking I'm guessing I don't know I've never done this before oh I know what my sausage is missing it's missing that a key ingredient okay and you know what it is Okay, it's like when you're cooking your food or when you're making it, when you got your hands in that meat, okay, and you're touching all over and you're just really getting it between the fingers and playing with it, having a good time in this bowl, okay. Well, you got to put your love in there too. <laughs> it's all in your thoughts, okay. It's kind of like what's coming in your mind is going in the meat. All right, so I'm thinking good thoughts, okay. I'm, and I'm thinking, well, you know what might work is, um... I'm going to wrap it up with some tinfoil. Woo! Alrighty. So we've got the tinfoil down. 
Now let's take some sausage. Okay, let's put it on there. Okay, I want to think how how big do I want this? <laughs> All right, I, this is gonna be great. Okay, that's looking. Ooh, that's pretty big. Okay, man, we ooh, we're having a good time now. All righty, it's just about perfect, isn't it? Okay, so let's um pull up the edges. Ooh, that's, that's a lovely sausage. Sausage is cooking, and um, I'm thinking, because I'm having a date for dinner. All right, then. <laughs> the sausage is a, more of a turn on probably for me than it is him, so I'm thinking. <laughs> Look what I got. Fennel. All righty, a little libido enhancement here. Ooh, it's gonna be fun. <laughs> if it's good enough for the Egyptians. I think it'll work for me. And um, I'm also going to toss in some baby carrots with that. Okay, you know, they say that these are a little bit of a ooh, aphrodisiac too, but I kind of think it's just the shape. Okay, so it works on me, but I don't know, boy. <laughs> All right, so we're going to do a little slow roasting. Let's do it. Okay, so let's take the fennel. We're going to cut off the greens. All right. We're just not going to use those, okay. Perfect. Woo, okay. So now let's just cut this in like a quarter, half, I don't know, let's just cut this up. Perfect. Put those in the bowl. Woo, okay, then we're going to take our carrots. Now, <laughs> here we go. And now, you know what looks really good with carrots? I got these lined up. Now I'm going to trim these. So we have just a little bit of the stock at the end, okay? So we got them trimmed up nicely here. Here we go. Aren't they sweet? Okay, just trimmed them up, but didn't shave them completely. Because you know what they say, the bush is back. And then we're going to toss with um, ooh, about three tablespoons olive oil or so. Okay. A little bit of water. Let's put in about a teaspoon fennel seeds. About three quarters of a teaspoon salt. And then we're gonna toss it with some pepper. I'm gonna slow roast them in the lower part of the oven woo, for about 10 minutes. And I'm kind of thinking, woo, let's add a little more fuel to the fire here. Woo, look what I got. Arugula. Okay, this. There's a reason they call this stuff rocket. It's a bit of an aphrodisiac. Okay, and I got the wild stuff. Woo! <laughs> it's gonna be a good time. All right, so let's toss it up with some cranberry dressing. And a few dried cranberries. Ooh, and some toasted almonds. We got ourselves a salad. So here we go. I'm gonna heat up some olive oil and we're gonna fry up these sausages. Okay, so I'm gonna open them up. There we go, so our vegetables are finishing their roasting. And um, kind of frying up the sausages. I know they're not perfect and they're not exactly firm, but uh, I'm sure they're gonna be tasty with all that love I put into them. Okay, woo, it is time for dinner. So it's not exactly a sausage here. It's more like a tofu loaf, but um, you know, it's gonna taste like a sausage, so let's see how, how it goes. Mmm. Mmm. <laughs> that is moist. Okay, that is tasty. Mmm. 